We're back with AM Live on TSPN, and we're here with Regina Schoengert. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Regina? I am great, Richard. Thank you. I like your outfit, too. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You're getting ready, huh? Yes. Got a big day coming up on Saturday? We do. We do. It's going to be a great day. Um, A lot of festivities are planned even after the ceremony at the park. As you know, Richard will be speaking during the celebration. Hopefully very, very short. um, Yeah. I, I planned it short last year, yes. and then one of my partners took off for 15 minutes. So. Yes, yes, we're it's, trying so you to avoid him that down this, this year. year right? We did. Everybody yeah, hooked a lot of three minutes this year. Yeah. Three minutes, and then we're cutting you off. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. talk. <laughs> let's talk about for for okay. the viewers. This is the I own Veterans Memorial Park ceremony yes. that's going to happen on Saturday. And what time does it occur? It starts at the park in I own, which is on the corner of uh, Main Street and Preston. Mm-hmm. Um, at 11 o'clock and then from there we're hoping it's we complete their hoping by 11:30. then walking over to howard park and behind evelyn bishop hall we'll continue with more festivities there we're having a, a tug of war contest That's a right. horseshoe tournament um all kinds of great events food uh, i own clark's corner will be there with the food truck and Perfect. then um, native sons with their uh, hamburgers and hot dogs and chips and then a raffle prizes and 50 50 raffle so it's yeah. going to be a great event that is awesome yeah and so you're i'm sh- assuming you're going to barricade the street for that time period by the because it's such it's kind of tight in there it is yeah it is so that the the street will be closed off mm-hmm. um we have a lot of um Patriot Guard riders come in on their bikes, combat veterans come in, um, American Legion riders. Yeah. So we have a lot of bikes that take over the city too, yeah. and yeah. they actually lead in the event. And it's an awesome sight when yes. the Patriot Guard riders are surrounding you in protection. And, you know, unfortunately, things are still happening as took place in Boston. So, mm-hmm. you know, not that we would even begin to foresee anything like that ever happening where we are, but, yeah. you know, it's nice to know that they are there watching out for us. They're, they're the day. unofficial security. They are, and they look really awesome in their, their you know, out, their vests and their biker outfits very touching yeah it is very touching yes very you know touching. I've, I've been to those types of things and i just you just get tears in your eyes it's so powerful it is yeah. and that day is it's mm-hmm. just a special day too yeah, yeah and absolutely. they're not there to cause any trouble they're there to make sure people are respectful of the events and what's being done yeah. absolutely yep. mm-hmm. like you said our little security system yeah that's <laughs> nice we, we yeah. talked during our rome segment a little bit but uh, this Park was kind of an inspiration of Robin Ornsby. Yes. Uh, because her son uh, lost his life when, uh, overseas in uh, Iraq. In yes. Iraq. So yeah. um, it started there, but it's a park for all veterans mm-hmm. uh, in the Ion general area. You. So long as you have lived in Ione at some point in your life, yes, that park is. We're there for you. Mm-hmm. Um, we we would love to support other cities doing the same thing, um, but this is something that we started. Richard's on our committee too. Yeah. Um, just and kind of started in memory of JD, and it's really spawned into this um, huge event. I don't know. Recently, we installed the bench, which is I own Veterans Memorial Park bench, and it has Love the it. insignia of each military branch on it. In addition to that, this week we'll be um, installing our currently serving military uh, men and women on a wall on the wall. And, and so, people need to realize too that if people are watching and, and remember someone. If they've yes. gone through the park and they remember someone who served or, um, you know, I think we've got people that have lost their lives there, but many people that have served, sometimes it's, hap- it's uh, very hard to capture them and uh, get their their name on there because yeah. it was a long time ago. This yeah. goes all the way back, how far to World War World um, War One? Mm-hmm. Yes, World War One. We have, um, in our program, we actually list all the fallen sol- soldiers, uh, men who have lost their lives during the time of war, mm-hmm. and um, we recognize them that day, beginning with World War One. Men, men or women, but back then it was primarily yes, men. Yes, so, it was. So nowadays yes. it'll recognize uh, anyone, man or woman, that that has served in the military. Absolutely, and we do have women's name on the wall too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's a it's a very unique park now. Um, since they've they fixed the corner there, so there's a little less room, but it, it was done very well. Yes. And um, with the bench and the, talk about the statue a little bit. The, the um, it is the fallen soldier, and it actually Can looks like this. Yes, it does. Um, so we have the bronze emblem, which um, 
is an insignia of that, but in bronze, and then on the front of the statue is JD's picture. There they go. They have um, one. In so yeah, there. Oh wow. That's perfect. It's very beautiful. Fancy. And then of course we have the flags flying in the background, the POW MIA flag. Um, Robin recently, and and she doesn't know I'm going to mention this, but she recently contacted Congress, and we're tr she she has worked very diligently. There is no um, KIA flag officially recognized um, and so she actually was given one five of them I believe gosh I'm I know I'm getting some of this wrong but um, she is trying to get her as recognized by um, the federal um, government as, wow. as a flag that can be flown yes um, and be and uh, the same as the POW or MIA flag Wow, so, and it should be. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Killed in action yes, is exactly. a big deal. It's a huge, I mean, that, it is. the ultimate sacrifice. So it okay. is. Let's talk about one more time. Um, what time is going to be? People should start arriving about what time? You, you want to pro You want to definitely start arriving be by 10:30 at the latest. Yeah, because it is closed off. Parking is not a huge issue. A lot of people walk. You have to, to walk town. in. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but you want to make sure you get a parking if you're unable to walk to the event. And 11 o'clock. And people that have hearing issues, they might want to bring hearing protection because they always do a uh, salute with the yes, yes. 20, 21 gun salutes. I own now has our own drill team, our own honor guard, and it's all military men currently serving or have served. Okay. Awesome. We have to hold our thoughts there because we have to take a, a hard break, but uh, we'll go to break and be right back with our final segment. Mm -hmm. 